Uh, I'm I'm in a hurry, so <laughs> here that's a Carl Zeiss uh, up to 100 uh, optical <laughs> magnification, and uh, with face contrast, I never really did get it to work. Here I have adapter for for a smartphone, and and here is this nice tiny scope. So really, you cannot really com compare this to that. But this has you see you can use it outdoor and so I just you see to, to get an idea of the quality I just compare to a 10, 10 times optical uh, objective and a 40 objective and I think there's a 10 or is it a 12 a 10 um, ocular so it's 100 or uh, 400 versus this and I've chosen uh, the, the pollen here that's right now uh, and so here you can see uh, and you can see these little spikes here. I've uh, set here if if you sometimes oh, if you some, if you do set changes here, then it clicks inside. So it's it's not don't know what this click means, but it's not just a cheap uh, Chinese webcam and, and that it there's some mechanical part inside as well. So now we have a manual focus, and and sometimes you get better results, but mostly. Uh, it's it's as close as possible. So so back to the auto, and here I've oh no, do not stop recording. Uh, the one thousand six hundred to two one thousand, and again, if you choose a higher resolution, then uh, it really gets very slow. And this is uh, Android seven, and Nexus six. Here this uh, Pixel two uh, didn't, does not work for now. Uh, so here you see that's this one thousand. <laughs> magnification you can zoom in digitally and you can you see here so so that's now what I want you to compare here this this pollen with this, these spikes and very nice we have here this um, grid uh, ruler to see uh, so the size that's very nice because here was with, with that I never really didn't know what, what is the size and here you see that's very comfortable and, and so now here okay so okay that is then and now you see that's uh, here the white side is that, that's a bright mode if you of course go to dark field mode uh, then you have to uh, sorry so oops no why doesn't it dark field? Uh, here sorry you don't see it then it's a black side and then you have this this is uh, for, for transparent cells that you cannot really uh, see with a microscope or with dark field. For my Borrelia, you see I'm Borrelia positive, but due to my keto, keto vegan diet, I guess I have no problem. Uh, because bacteria, they, they eat uh, glucose. Uh, uh, live on glucose and so if you don't eat any carbohydrates okay you see and still here something that's uh, for transparent um, cells like the Borrelia uh, you, you need the stark field mode so I'm really uh, very excited that it here comes uh, right out of the box and as I said very nice here that this here simply clicks here to the side uh, and, and then you're done and so now um, I have to put it here the other side ah so this is 10 times. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and again, you see, you see, this is uh, already some magnification. So this is, uh, uh, can we do it this way? Okay. Uh, so uh, again, you see these spikes. Uh, and let's put this one here a bit in focus focus and try to get it a bit more so this is 100 so 10 10 times 10 and so if you choose another um, focus then you see that a pollen below get in focus which we could not see here but okay yeah it's it's a ball with spikes and so now we go to 40 ah it's 400 and so let's try to get this very sharp and okay you see now the spikes 
become really um, more clear but it's still you see it's still a ball with spikes <laughs> and so you see if you would want would want to identify this ball uh, which flower then well it's a ball with spikes and it's it's the size of, of the pollen and I would like to to use it for, for mushrooms out, out in the forest to, to really see uh, that's uh, another way to identify and with this small uh, a tiny scope you see you could really um, And you see, that's what I, I think it's still, it, it's positive. Of course, you see it. Um, I mean, I now could go to to 100. Uh, it will not show you because with, with 100, you need uh, uh, oil on, on the on the lens. I've never made this because uh, it's a mess. <laughs> and, and so for my Borrelia studies, uh, it's uh, four, 400, so 40 to 10. So this year would be uh, way enough to, to identify. And, and so I... I have a dark field by now here somewhere and uh, never did really the face contrast you see I'm just <laughs> plug and play and then it has to work and with su such a scientific uh, equipment really I bought it for used I think for 200 euro uh, you know you have to really study and really learn how to, how to use such a machine and but as you see I think it's uh, quite impressive this tiny scope Back to 10 times. Uh, you see this, this is rather here that looks like uh, what the tiny scope does. And and okay, here you can focus the diff different layers. So if I now change uh, the height of the focus and uh, other balls uh, become here. Yeah, so this is okay. Every ball here has, has these spikes. Whereas uh, with here with a... <laughs> ah. Is this, I think it was not uh, so big. Yes, see that this out, and now we have to put this knife. Uh, uh, no, it's only working one way. So, and it's very easy and quick, so you see you can move it here, uh, move it around. Okay, you have to be careful. There we are. Let's try here. Oh, sorry. Let's try here some, um, the manual focus. Uh, where, what was it here? I see, we only get, but you see that's um, also be, because of these uh, presets. So I haven't tried my own samples. Uh, recording stopped somewhere. I have to stop anyway. Uh, just you see, want to show you? Yeah, it's really sh also showing these these nice spikes, and uh, manual. So this is automatic mode. And so I, I'm really confident that this really can be used uh, somewhere out out in the field. Okay. Bye bye.